Simon Rimmer has spoken up about his disputes with his Sunday brunch co-host Tim Lovejoy. Simon Rimmer, 58, has opened up about his relationship with Sunday brunch co-host Tim Lovejoy. The chef revealed on the Harry Biker's Heart and Soul podcast that the pair sulk with each other. The celebrity chef and Channel 4 presenter said that while the two get on most of the time, they sometimes fall out over mistakes made on air. One example referenced was when Tim fell over live during a Sunday brunch episode last year. While chatting to the bikers, Simon discussed his friendship with Tim. He said, we don't take each other seriously, but we take what we do seriously. I always think that's a nice way to be as a human being. Host Dave Myers asked him directly if the pair fall out as a result of TV disputes. Simon replied, Jesus, yeah of course you do. But the thing is, in the 15 years we've worked together, we've never had a serious falling out. He went on to say that they do fall out, but it's always over petty issues. He added that the reasons for work disputes between the two are often linked to one of them saying or revealing a fact about the other live on TV that wasn't planned during rehearsals. He said about this, sometimes he might say something live and all think, I really didn't want my family to know that. Simon then turned the questioning around on the bikers, asking them if the two of them had ever had any serious disputes. Dave responded saying that they had a bit of a Barney during their first show in Namibia. He jokingly added that they also had a tango in Woolworths over the choice of oil to put into their mayonnaise with an exotic meal. C. King added in regards to their relationship, that the two were like a pair of slippers, and that you can't have one without the other. Simon then expressed that he felt the same way about himself and Tim. He also spoke about the origins of his friendship and joint hosting with Tim. According to the Sunday Brunch presenter, he was not the initial choice of co-presenter. Simon claimed it was in fact Andy Peters, who turned down the role in favor of dancing on Ice Friday. He commented, Andy jumped ship and went to ITV, and they were left without a presenter.